Okay, so funny story about today's video. You guys may have seen other people have done it. They've went and used duck seal, D-U-C-T seal, as a backstop for uh, BBs and pellets. So I decided, I'm not sure I believe they can withstand that much. So I wanted to try that today. So here's the funny story. I go into Lowe's, I go up to a guy because I can't find it, and I ask him, do you have any duck seal? He looks at me kind of weird. He says, you mean donkey? <coughs> and I was like, I've never heard that before. But uh, yeah, the gray oil-based um, seal that never dries out. Oh yeah, he says, that's donkey. <coughs> and I was like, He's okay. He says, uh, let me go ask this other guy to make sure we're talking about the same thing. So he literally yells across the store to this guy on a forklift. He says, hey, Bob. Bob turns around. He says, we still have donkey. <coughs> All the customers in the store are looking. Apparently, that's the other name for it. And I've never heard that. And I thought it was hilarious. So he did indeed have it. This is a one pound block. I bought two of them. We're gonna set them out range here and we're gonna shoot it. With everything from 177 pellet pistol, 177 BB gun. I have the 177 nitro rifle the 22 nitro and then the 22 PCP. We're going to make our way through the rounds here, uh, working our way up from least powerful to most powerful and see if indeed this stuff will actually stop a pellet. I'm kind of skeptical. I, I just, I can't buy it until I see it. So there it is. That's what your duck sale looks like. One pound log of it or donkey as they put it has a backing paper on it. We're going to leave that on just for to show indication if a pellet went through it or not. I'm going to stick it right here against our board. No gaps, tight to the board. And we'll get back. We'll put the camera on it and we'll see what happens. Okay, so the very first gun we're going to be using is the Gamo 430. This is the pellet or BB uh, CO2 powered. We're only 25 feet away because if you're going to be using something like this in a pellet trap, you're more than likely going to be using it in the basement or in a dedicated room of your house. You're not going to be real far away. We just want to see if it's going to stop stuff. So I'm going to take two shots with every gun, and we'll see if we can figure out what's what. All right. All right, did we hit it? Okay, nice. We did hit it. And you can see the BBs. They barely penetrated at all. It definitely stopped it. Seemed to work well. Moving up. Okay, now we got the uh, Beretta M9A3 177 CO2 pistol. My favorite one. Take a couple shots with that. Two shots. I could go check it out. All right, there it is, and it stopped those BBs no problem. Actually, it looked like it, they went in less than the other one did. I think that gun has more power, so that's a little weird. Okay, next up on the order here, we got the 177 Nitro. We're going to be using the Benjamin Hollow Points. We hit it, let's go look. Okay, we can see where we hit it. Did it go through? Ooh, it's deep in there. Nothing out the backside. I'd say that went three quarters of the way into that. So, still held it though. That's, that's pretty good. I might have some faith in it after all. Okay, next we're starting to move into the big dogs here. We got two left. We're gonna use the uh, Diamondback 22 brake barrel nitro piston and we're just going to be using the regular 
uh, Crossman hollow points. I was going to shoot two at each one and I forgot on the last rifle, so excuse me, we will do a two on this one. Okay, we hit. Uh, I don't know where that went. I think I jerked it. Let's put another one in it. Alright, let's try that again. Alright. We're shooting left at that distance. That's what's going on. Okay, let's go have a look at that. Okay, we hit there and there. Even the one I shot in the far left, I can see the pellet in the back of that hole. I don't know if you guys can. Did not go through maybe three quarters of the way. The hole above it, same thing. There is no penetration out the back side of this. I'm starting to become a believer. But we have the big dog left, the PCP-22. Will it stop it? Nobody knows, but we're gonna see. And finally we got 22 PCP with the awesome night vision scope on it. I have this thing zoomed in at 30x. I'll screen record this let you guys see what that looks like. Look how up close and personal we are to that little block. So, let's go ahead and shoot right here. Okay, we hit there. I'm sighted in for <laughs> way farther away than this. Let's go over here. And we hit right there. Okay, I took a few shots at this. You can see the larger holes, obviously. Did anything go through? Nothing. Nothing at all has went through that. It's pretty impressive. I didn't think this was going to hold up. But, there you have it. Donkey. We'll stop up to at least 22 caliper. I don't have anything larger to try, but we'll leave it at that.